Hemmings has been around since 1954. It has a phenomenal brand and brand presence. When my first car was a Jeep. I lifted it, did a bunch of work on it, took it like an hour and a half from here to the URA State Park and four-wheeled it and enjoyed it and camped out and, and did all of that. But that was kind of before we called everything overlanding. The purpose for this build for Hemmings was really for us to venture outside of our comfort zone. So we were able to take a classic truck, so a 1997 F-250, and push it into the overland sector, which is quickly growing and has that sought after audience. I mean, people have multi-generations of their family that have been subscribers or users of Hemmings for an extremely long time. The property that we're building the truck on, that was found in the back of the Hemmings magazine and years ago my dad decided like shoot I'll go down to Virginia and look at this place and that's how he found this place. Something that people don't know about Hemmings is how quickly we're expanding and growing. People typically think of Hemmings as just a print publication and we're very multifaceted right now so we want to change that perception. Uh, we are now covering every sector of the auto enthusiast hobby. And so Overland, because it's growing, it's incredibly popular. We felt like it was a space that we could definitely move into and do really well. Uh, and taking the 1997 F-250, we're really showcasing the fact that Hemmings is a predominant voice in saying what's classic and what's not. And so taking that classic truck and putting it in a very new sector uh, of growth is really important to us. So we had a call with Crystal and Kurt. They completely understood where we at Hemmings were trying to take the project and had really great ideas that they added as well. And so we decided to move forward and it has been an absolutely fabulous partnership. Well, hey, we're gonna be doing this. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, it's gotta be done before October, really. I'm like, Oh, so it's one of those. I've always been a truck guy myself anyway, and I fool a lot of four wheel drive trucks and, you know, lift your truck, stuff like that. I've never fooled with the Overland style though, so that's interesting. <laughs> I think it needs to stop. Oh, so we had had some initial conversations with Ford Performance about kind of the upcoming products and things that they were about to launch. They were really pushing this new Godzilla engine, the 7.3 liter gas Godzilla engine that was kind of purpose built for heavy duty trucks. So we went back to Ford Performance with this product pitch of, of the build of what is now you know, Project Artemis. We think mid 90s OBS is about to be the hottest part of you know the collector market as far as you know heavy duty trucks goes. Do you want to do something like this? And they were on board from the get-go. They said yes, absolutely. Um, so that's how we ended up kind of selecting this model and, and partnering with Ford on the bill. We're putting a flag in the ground with this build and, and it's really kind of the tip of the spear for us into this world, letting customers know that we cover the, this space, uh, letting brands know that we're a resource for them in this space. And it's going to be, you know, continuing to be a tent pole of the coverage and, and our product offering moving forward.